G'day everyone, back at the home front. Um, I'm about to take out a block of aluminium here. So I'm going to just sit you down on a good old milk crate. I haven't got a tripod or nothing for the old GoPro. So I'm just going to sit you there the best I can. So you just can sit and watch. My knee gets in the road, I do a pop. up there so out there we go all right i've already pressed it down um so i'm down to i think i've pressed it down yeah i'm on the last stroke pull it all apart i have to go and get my gloves that one's tight in there This one up here too. That holds it up so I can let this way down yonder. I've got a fair bit in this one. Take it all the way down to the bottom. Gonna need to. Probably gonna weigh at least five and a half to probably nearly six kgs this one. Right. Up. This is under. Sit that there. See how much we get out of this one. I haven't got the oh, We've got the scales there, haven't we? Now, barking scales. directly off here down here load all of this down because I've got to press this whole piece here now with this piece here back up in here with these on top up in here to press that out but I'll have to go and get a glove this is what it looks like underneath when it's all pressed up. Pretty spectacular, I reckon. Anyway, let's press this down.
dangling by something. There we go. Right, and I'll just sit it on that there on our stand. Now you might not be able to see it. Right, where's the next one? That's not too bad. Um, got to remove this now. Get that out of the road. First, I've got to get that out of the road. I've got to move that. Right, I got it all set up so um, it's all in line. Uh, cable ties on, zip ties. Now I've only got to put this top plate on there. June said to duck away. She was over there sorting out the wire. We're going to have to strip. Sit this one mind me one handed here trying to get it square so it pulls in nice and tight sit that there sit these blocks back on top because this is going to be a fair force going against this it does rock a bit doing this Pull these up as we go. Right. Put that down. Get it started. Get it centered. Then we just compress it all back down. It does stay in one piece. <clears throat> it sort of compresses it a little bit more. Then all I do is I get to do these up. without overdoing them. Use me put here for a second. Go around the other side. Do the same to this one. Pull that to that. No need pulling it any tight. When I release it, it's going to be pretty tight anyway. So this is the crucial part where it doesn't, hopefully it doesn't break these. This is where I've got to be careful. Got a 
fair bit of pressure on that. That's worked. Didn't go pop. It's still going up. That's good. Right. Well, that is that one pressed up. Oh, I think that makes number seven. Can't remember. So, yeah, that's how we do it. Oh, I missed that tie. Oh, I missed that piece of aluminium there. Look at that. Never mind. Or oh, pop him in there. But yeah, that's how they're all pressed up. Now I can just pick that up the way it is. Bring it over this way. How about, um, just bear with me, I'll go get a set of scales. Right, now this is in kgs. Right, so this is what it's going to, ooh. What happened there? It went off on me. Turn him back on. Kgs. Wow. 6.3 kgs. That's the heaviest I've got so far. Now, I will go and grab. Here we go. I'll weigh the whole lot. I'll just go and grab. It's turned itself off. Uh, I'll go and grab the rest of them. Right, well, just zero back out. Got them all around me. That's the first one, 6.3. Hope it goes up. There we go. We've got to be quick here. Got to be fairly quick. So it keeps counting. <laughs> <laughs> that's 30 kilos balance there 36 35 it's gonna yeah come on yeah 30 oh, I'm gonna turn it over it's not gonna make a difference 35.6 and the last one which is the one there's 41 kilos neat. 41 kilos neat. That's damn good, I reckon. You wouldn't think that would add up to that. But yeah. I did not think that would add up to 41 kilos. That is seven pressed blocks of aluminium. I hope we get a fair bit to that. It's plus just dirty aluminium. Now, on the home front, what we've been doing, besides pressing up those, is, I thought I'd put it in one of those crates, probably make it easier for carrying. Um, we've been stripping out our, what number is that? That's number one copper. That's the good stuff, the real good stuff. Um, then what they class as number two, where it's got a whole heap of glue and whatever on the copper, they class that as a number two here. Um, where I'm going to be taking it. So if there's a light bit of solder on them, like this one here, they, I can chop that off and make it as number one, but it's got glue all the way down it. So I can't make it as number number one, class as number two. Um, June's been sitting down here. She's actually out attending things, sorting out the rubbish wire from the good wire, which the aluminium wire away from copper wire. So that's what she's doing here. Uh, she's that way I can get two with the wire stripper and that's over here and get two and start stripping some out but I've been actually sorting out motors this is what I've got to go through so far these are all copper based uh, I've got to get all the copper out of these outer casings from the motors um, even when it comes down to these little buggers so yeah, I've got a whole heap of them uh, down here. I can let them go as motors themselves. Uh, that shower head, I picked that up today. Um, and then we've got these in here, which I won't be doing. So they'll go through probably as uh, shred. Um, so yeah, copper shred. Then we've got some down here, little transformers in the bucket. Um, these things here they're out of the washing machines 
you can actually smash them up and get the copper out and the uh, brass points out of them but um, I'm just going to let it go as it is and it'll go through probably as dirty copper or, or something like that so yeah because you got even these little things they've got the little copper pieces inside them um, then we've done a fair bit of a clean up here we've still got our um, our circuit boards had to remember what they were had a mental block there got more trissy lights still yet to go through this bin here um, finally got all of our wire out of the old washing machine tub June was having trouble trying to get in over that so yeah so I thought well that's still yet to be sorted so with those now I have a question for everyone with all these plugs we've chopped off right even down to these little ones here is it worth it tell me in the comments is it worth it heating these up with hot water and getting these out there is a fair few in here like even when it comes to that there's probably a bit of brass in that one um and probably in that too but um yeah just tell me if if it's worth it or not because i'd like to know so i haven't rang me um scrap metal dealer to find out um but yeah let us know in the comments still got our number one and number two copper piping uh, i've got to pull these apart and deciding whether to hang on to one or not um we've done a fairly big clean up here we've got the ute over there loaded i'll show you shortly we've done a fair bit of sorting out here we've got all of our stainless over here um sorry if i do say arm i'm trying to think what i'm going to say uh, this here is our casted alloy. Uh, I've got to sort this one out over here because we've got some dirty cast alloy in there, and they won't, they don't, they downgrade your good cast alloy from your your good stuff, uh, uh, your dirty stuff. So yeah, I've got to clean all that up. Still got our pots and pans there, extruded alloy, set of rims there. She's definitely no good. There's one there that's bent, so scrap them out too these two fridges are full they're full as a boot with um ferrous metals had a dry throat there and we've still got around the corner she's opened up fairly well here they the fridges used to come all the way back to here but anyway we've still got all this steel around the side um some more extruded alloy here more there uh, have pressed up a whole heap here of the wash machine shells that we've scrapped out that don't work uh, you've probably seen in the past video that that one was already done and I put these out here to make room inside there still got our um, mowers and stuff over there as well anyway this is one wash machine that I actually cleaned up and actually got for sale now um, didn't actually do much to it all I had to do was pull the pull the top off here pull all the electrics off the off the board here pull all that off and then you pull your pull your lid off pull your top off here um, someone had actually put a nice design on the front of it I reckon that's cute with the birds and the lights I reckon that's nice with the pussy cats down the bottom pretty cute don't want to sell the washing machine when it's like that but anyway i've got a photo of it i can crop it and print it out anyway anyway getting away from the washing machine this is all of our ferrous metals stacked up on our ute there's struth i've lost track how many is in it uh there's two four six i think there's eight eight fridges on there yep there's eight that's a lot and i've got the gazebos way up the top i think there's a few few gazebos up there too you see them up there ah uh, there's one two three four five six seven eight nine gazebos up there so yeah oh no eight seven well, i don't know but anyway June's on our way back, on her way back, not our way back. She comes, she's slowing down, she doesn't like being on camera. Anyway, 40 kilos in the aluminium. Pretty damn good, I reckon. 
Oh, with our aluminium, um, not aluminium, with our copper wire, we've already got two bin pulls here. We've got our number one here. Chocker block full. Chocker blockers. Number two, right here. Chocker blockers. So we have a fair bit of number one and number two copper wire. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. I don't know about June. Say hello, June. Oh, hi. But yeah, I'll see you all on the flip side.